Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to create your bookback template if you're using Adobe Illustrator. Now, we know that a lot of people will be making different sized book covers, so we don't want to make sure that we do these exactly the same as mine, but instead make your own uh, dimensions using the same process that I use today. So, the way we want to start this out is by understanding how big our document's going to be. Now what I'm going to do is run calc here and basically I want to have a book that is uh, not a very thick book, pretty thin book. Uh, I want it to be about 6.5 across, okay, the top and then I want it to be 8.5 down. Okay, so I'm going to make it 6.5 by 8.5 Now that would be the front cover size. But uh, I need to add space for the flaps, the back cover and the spine. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and to multiply this by 2, which will give me 13. I'm going to have mm, about a 2.5 inch, inch flap I think will be good. So we'll add 5 to that for each flap together. And then we're going to add another 0.5 for a total of 18.5 for our whole thing. Now basically that 0.5 is going to be our spine. So now I know it's going to be 18.5 by 8.5. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Make a new document. And what you want to do is make sure a couple of things. One, you want to make sure units are set to inches. And you can see that I've already um, put this in here before, 18.5 by 8.5. And what this is going to do is create a very wide document. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I have on my document. Oh, it looks like I had two artboards. I'm going to close that and just try that again. New and I had two artboards. I'm going to make it say one artboard and we'll say OK. Alright. So the next thing we have to do is set up our guides. The guides are going to help us uh, figure out where to put everything. Now to do that you have to bring up your rulers. So you go to view and bring up rulers and say show rulers. Now, uh, to separate this out, uh, to make it easy on me, I'm going to zoom in some to make it easier to see where my rulers are. So I'm going to start by doing my first flap, and I'm going to zoom in here, and you can see that here I have uh, 0, half inch, 1 inch, half inch, 2, 2 and a half. So I need a guide that will come down right here. So I go over to my left side, and I drag a guide out and drop it right on that line. And let me see, two and a half. Well, I would need to add um, another six and a half to that. So let's do that. We'll uh, go over, and if that's six and a half, it should be a half. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So I should have one over here at nine. So let's go ahead and bring one over to nine. And we'll zoom in again. And We'll drag one to nine. All right, and then we're going to go over and add a half. So we'll do nine and a half. And then that would be my spine. And then we need to bring one over to from the other side. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, let me see, 18 and a half. So we need to bring it over to 16. So it's two and a half to get to the end. So we'll bring one up to 16, we'll zoom in again, and we'll get right to 16. And so there you have it. Now you have your, your layout all set up. So this is going to be my front cover, this will be my spine, my back, my left flap, and my right flap. Now you can do other things to help you line things up in this. You can tell it to show a grid. Okay, so you can just go show grid, and you'll see a grid, and that can sometimes really help you line things up. Uh, if you don't like it, you just go to view and hide the grid. All right, so this is going to be my background. Now, you can bring in any assets you need into this. You can place uh, PSDs. You can work directly into the places of uh, different sections of this. It's up to you, but this is where you're going to start out, and then we know that this will make a good-sized document in the end. So with that, I'm going to leave you, and good luck making your book back template.